Hey guys, it's BuilderDude35 here with the third and final part of line alignment of the EV3 robot to lines on the FLL field. Okay, so first things first, this video is not standalone. This is an expansion of off of the first two videos that I've made. If you haven't seen those yet, you have to go see those now, otherwise you're not really going to understand what I'm talking about. The first video teaches you all about how to build a program, the second video is how to improve that program, and then this third video is how to make yet another improvement to that program. So, uh, with that being said, I'm going to go and uh, I'm going to go onto the computer right now and I'm going to show you how to improve that program. Okay, so now I've opened up the program so we can make this quick fix. Right here, I've centered on where the problem area is. And the problem is that I have this weight block of 0 0.2 seconds in a loop block. And what this is doing is it's, it turns the motor on until it, it stops with the color sensor. But since there's a weight block in there, there's 0.2 seconds worth of time where the color sensor is not really looking for the color. And this is a problem because this could make the robot overshoot the line because of the way the 0.2 second weight lands. So it's a pretty simple fix. What you're going to do is you're just going to take this weight block and delete it out of the program, but we still need some kind of way for the motor to get off of the line before it uh, starts looking for the color, otherwise it's just going to see the white line it's already on. So we're going to drag out one of these motor, uh, large motor blocks you're going to turn it on for seconds and now you're going to set it for 0 0.2 seconds and we're going to go 20% power because that's what we're using all in the rest of the program and set it for port B alright so now we fix the problem and just remember it does this part in the program twice so now we have to fix it on the other part okay so now here's the other part that needs to be fixed so we're just going to delete this weight block out drag out a large motor block make sure it's set for C now because we're uh, modifying motor C you're going to set it on for seconds so that's 0 0.2 seconds and then 20% uh, 20% power and the reason why we're doing this why we have this part at all is because if you remember in my first video the robot is has to look for the white line, but uh, the other white line, but it already starts on a white line that is not the white line it needs to look for. So if, it, if you just start the motor on the white line, it'll keep, uh, it'll see the white line it's already on, which is the wrong white line, and everything gets messed up. So you need to give it a head start with this here to get it off the white line onto the black, then start looking for the other white line. So now that we've made our fix, let's download the program into the robot. So here's the improved program. As you'll see, the, the robot is now perfectly perpendicular to this line, and with the new improvement we've made, it's much more consistent. Now let's start the robot on a more severe angle. Even after starting it at such a severe angle like that, the robot still managed to align itself to the line. Now, I know you're wondering, Builder Dude, how many improvements are you going to make to this thing before you finally get it right? And this is hopefully the last improvement that you'll have to make. And I just want this to be a lesson to you, especially you younger people out there who are watching, that your job as an engineer is never finished. There is always something to improve. Like you'll see with my program that I had to improve it several times to be able to get it perfect. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time, guys.